Hi, I'm Andrea. Welcome to my channel. I need more lives. Hi guys. I was requested to do a video by Joelle Loves Horses. Uh, she wanted to know the top 10 foods not to eat because they're unhealthy. I'm not sure if I came up with 10 here, but just off the top of my head and I wrote down why, why to cut these foods out of your regular diet. Um, it's okay. You go out sometimes. You eat at somebody's house. You eat these things. This is not about weight loss. I have foods not to eat for weight loss, but this is about really unhealthy foods that you should basically cut out of your diet completely, your normal diet. I'm not talking about going to somebody's house or, uh, you know, having a night out where you have dinner out, whatever. This is your normal diet food. Don't eat this food. The first one that I picked was canned food and soups. Uh, basically canned food is, it's going to be nothing but sugar because it's cooked so much that all the value, the, the vitamin value of it is gone. Uh, sometimes they even add synthetic vitamins to it because they've cooked all the good stuff out of it. When you eat soup and you get the vegetables and they all taste the same, they're all mushy, it's because it's been cooked to death. <laughs> Literally, there's nothing nutritious about it. Full of salt, really full of salt. Um, it should be illegal how much salt there is in there. And also the, the cans, uh, for some reason, they are still allowed to be lined with BPA. So anything that's in a can is going to soak up that BPA and basically what you're getting is a chemical soup in a can. So I would say don't eat stuff out of a can. Uh, the next one is TV dinners. Uh, okay, have you read the ingredients? in a TV dinner. My dad was eating TV dinners when I went to the States and I was like, oh, yeah, I remember TV dinners. I should eat one. I looked at the ingredients and I couldn't do it. I could not do it. It was so gross. Uh, really tiny writing and it was about this tall and about this wide, full of ingredients. I've never even heard of these ingredients, okay? It's supposed to be turkey and stuffing and green beans and mashed potatoes. Okay, so that should be no more than like 10 ingredients max. It, it was like 30 to 40 ingredients. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. So I would say no, don't eat TV dinners. Besides being just full of uh, chemicals, it's full of sugar, it's full of salt, it's full of these processed GMO grains, soy, corn, uh, wheat, just gross. Not good for you. Not good for you. Um, sugar. You know I was going to say sugar. There is no reason to ever eat sugar ever in your regular diet. I'm not saying when you're going out. Please don't get me misunderstood. When you go out, you have birthday party, whatever, you eat a piece of cake. Okay. I'm talking about your regular diet. There is no reason to ever, ever, ever eat sugar ever. The alternatives that I use for sugar are one, stevia. I use it in my drinks. I have a link down below to the best stevia that does not have an aftertaste to it. It's actually really good. Baking, it's not so good, but I don't bake a whole lot. So what I do for that is I'll put uh, xylitol in it. And this is non-GMO xylitol because xylitol can be made out of corn. So if you do get the corn xylitol, you need to make sure that it's non-GMO. Uh, corn is like, unless you're buying it uh, organic, it's going to be GMO 100%. So you need to be very careful with corn products. Um, dextrose is a corn. So uh, yeah, stevia and xylitol are good for that. The next one I have is aspartame, and this is so poisonous. I had a very bad experience one time I was over consuming aspartame. I had it in my food, I had it in my drinks, and I drank a gallon of like Kool-Aid a day, but I didn't want the sugar. I wanted, you know, sugar free, and this was before sucralose. I, I don't think you should eat sucralose either, but I think um, aspartame is more toxic than sucralose is. Um, aspartame gave me lots of headaches, I was very dizzy, um, I had vertigo, uh, very lightheaded, seeing stars, 
uh, all that stuff. So aspartame is a poison. It is a chemical. There's no need to ever consume it. And right now they're actually wanting to put it in milk, I heard. They're wanting to add aspartame to milk. That's crazy. It's already in some bubble gums that have sugar in it. So why are they adding aspartame to an already sweetened bubble gum? It's madness to me. Aspartame is a chemical. Um, don't eat that. Table salt. Now you buy table salt. Table salt is a 100% man-made product. It is not real. It's basically a chemical. There's dextrose in salt and dextrose again can be made from corn which again could be 100% GMO food. So you're eating table salt, it's swelling in your body, it's staying, it's sticking around. Uh, the salt is not good, it is toxic. I will not eat salt ever. Um, the only salt that I eat and I eat plenty of and don't swell up and don't have a problem swelling up or anything is uh, pink Himalayan salt and you have to make sure that you get the real stuff because I've heard that there are some fake salts out there which is so unfortunate. People get greedy and they don't care about each other and that's what happens. Here's another one that when I was in the States I wouldn't touch with a 10-foot pole and that is tub butter. The stuff that's made out of vegetable oil, even the stuff that's not called margarine but it's in a tub and none of the ingredients have anything to do with what butter is. Butter is one ingredient and you can make it at home if you want. It's cream. Okay. When you spin the butter, you turn the butter, what comes out of it is buttermilk. Okay, so the butter actually doesn't have um, any of the milk proteins in it. So even a person who is lactose intolerant can eat butter. Butter is a real food. Okay, this tub butter is not. It's completely 100% man-made chemical gross. Another thing is pasteurized milk. Pasteurized milk is so cooked um, that it, it basically turns into a flat sugar. Flat sugar meaning it has no health benefits, it has no vitamins in it, that's why they add synthetic vitamins to it. Uh, pasteurized milk, your body treats it like it's a plastic. It has no idea what to do with this milk. The stuff from it goes into your arteries and it causes inflammation. Uh, it's like scratches your arteries up. And then the cholesterol that's in your body that you need in your body actually sticks to it. You can get all kinds of milk um, that's good for you. You can drink raw cow's milk, very good for you. Goat's milk, very good for you. Almond milk, you know, nut milks, all those types of milks, very good for you. The next one is white soy. White soy in the form of soy lecithin, uh, soy milk, tofu, these types of white soy, soy crisps that are in the Atkins bars all the time, you know, they're in processed food, they're in heavily processed foods. This is going to be 100% GMO food because soy is a huge GMO crop just like corn and cottonseed and canola. Cottonseed and canola aren't even a food, so. <laughs> soy messes with your hormones bad, really bad. For me, it caused me to be on my period for three months. When I cut out the soy, uh, I got taken care of, I didn't have a problem. I also believe that it causes and makes your tumors grow. If you have fibroid tumors, if you have cysts on your ovaries, it is my belief that it makes them grow. I don't have proof of this. I just have proof that since I have cut out the soy, I don't have an issue now. And I've done other things as well to get rid of that. But I would definitely stay away from all kinds of white soy. Soy lecithin is going to be in probably 100% of processed foods. I don't think you can get away from it. Uh, they put it in everything and you might say, oh, it, well, it's the last ingredient, it's okay. But how many of those foods did you eat in a single day? All of this adds up. It's a hormone mimicker, an endocrine disruptor, and it accumulates in your body. So even that just a little bit adds up and keeps adding up. And 
it's a poison to your body. Now the only soy that you really should eat is fermented soy, which comes from darker soys, which are miso, the fermented soybeans, natto, oh, and soy sauce you can have. I get the soy sauce that doesn't have wheat or sugar in it, and uh, you know, it's just the soy sauce, the fermented soy sauce, and you have to make sure that it's real because they do sell imitation of that too, and basically it's just brown sugar water, so yeah. Processed meats is the next one. Uh, now sometimes I have hot dogs, um, but this isn't a part of my regular diet. I might have hot dog once every six to eight months or something, you know, a package of hot dogs. So it's not part of my normal diet, but any processed meat is going to be full of nitrates and nitrites, and these are very cancer causing. And again, it's something that accumulates in your body. It's not if you eat it once in a while, it's it's not going to harm you. It's something that accumulates in your body. If you eat it every single week, you have a higher risk of getting cancer in your 50s and 60s if you eat a lot of processed meats. Meat gets vilified all the time, and I don't think that meat is bad for you. I actually think you need meat because of the B12 content in it and the other vitamins, iron and everything in it. It's easily absorbable. But processed meat is what should be villainized because it's, it's not good for you. Uh, you want to have bacon whatever once in a while. I don't see a problem with that. I love bacon. Uh, I love hot dogs, but it shouldn't be part of your normal diet. Okay, and the next one I came up with was microwave popcorn. Uh, microwave popcorn is, well, for one thing, high in salt and uh, chemicals. The butter flavoring is a chemical, and uh, what it does is when it heats up and you're breathing it, it can cause lung problems. And people who actually work in the factories where this uh, microwavable popcorn is made were having lung problems. They were actually dying of lung issues, and they found out that it was because of a chemical that is in the butter flavored popcorn. You can cook popcorn on your own at home. It's really easy. Popcorn is not the same as GMO corn. Popcorn is not GMO. You can get popcorn and cook it on the stove top with coconut oil and you can actually pour butter over top of it when it's done and put pink Himalayan salt on it and it can be a healthy alternative to like potato chips or something that you really shouldn't be eating anyway, you know. I actually think that was 10 things. If you have any questions, let me know and I hope you have a great day. Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you'd like to see last week's food vlog, click the box to the left. If you'd like to watch our everyday life here in Israel, click the video on the right to be taken to Fully Living. Subscribe to both channels for updates. Have a great day. Take care.